ESA's Gaia mission has one main goal, to map the Milky Way more extensively and with far greater precision than any other mission to date. Advancing astrometry, the science of measuring the distance and motion of stars, Gaia will build on the legacy of ESA's previous mission, Hipparchos, and map a billion stars over a five-year period to produce a comprehensive catalogue of data that will impact on many areas of space science. In the future, probably all satellites, all telescopes, when they are deciding where, do, where am I actually looking at the moment, the knowledge where I'm looking is going to be based on the Gaia catalogue, the positions of stars measured by Gaia. To make this catalogue, Gaia will scan the sky from an extremely stable orbit with two telescopes, observing each and every star up to 70 times in the life of the spacecraft. Its three onboard instruments will allow it to map the position, the chemical composition, the temperature and the movement of the stars. It's the combination of all these measurements that will enable scientists to get a far better understanding of the Milky Way. The purpose is to make a very detailed, detailed and accurate three-dimensional map of one billion stars of our galaxy. And that will allow to understand better the evolution and formation, evolution in the past and in the future of our, our galaxy. This level of accuracy is only possible with the development of new mission-specific technologies. These include the largest CCD focal plane ever flown, an ultra-stable diamond-hard optical bench and mirrors made from silicon carbide, a huge 10-meter sunshield to keep temperatures stable, and finally a system of cold gas microthrusters designed to maximize stability and precision of orientation. The technology which is involved is is exceptional. Everything has been designed, developed on purpose. So it's, it's, it's a bunch of technology which make the, the spacecraft very difficult. I think we did all what we need to do in terms of design, development, testing. We never cut corner. Therefore, we are quite confident that this will be a wonderful mission. But it wasn't just a technological effort. At the peak of the project, there were up to 50 companies and 2,000 people from all over Europe working on Gaia. It's not only a technological effort, it's a major human effort. So I feel really that we are going to accomplish something now, but it's, it's an accomplishment or a real community of, 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 of Europe. And this process will continue on through the lifetime of Gaia. On an average day, the mission will produce around 400 million measurements, which will be analysed and processed by a consortium of 500 astronomers and engineers throughout Europe. These will eventually create a detailed 3D map of the sky, which will give us a completely new understanding of our galaxy, the Milky Way.